Hello everyone, Ross is here again, welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to change CC code on your Samsung S21, S20 or S10 series using Android 11 and latest security patch. Let's start! Alright guys, basically there is two ways to change your CC code. One is paid, it is by using a program called SumKey and you need to buy a credits from these guys to change your CSC code. And the other one is free, which I will show you today because we love free things. And using well-known holding program from Samsung, we can change our CSC code. Sadly, we can change our CSC code only to one country and probably you will not be able to use Samsung Pay only, you can use native call recording. Ok, of course we'll need a computer to do this and our Samsung S21. This is mine. Let's open settings, scroll down, about phone and software information. Here you can find if you scroll down a little bit service provider software version. Now you can see here is my model SMG991B which is Samsung S21 and after that is the CSC code OXM. That's the my CSC code because it's using multi CSC. After that my region CSC is BGL which stands for Bulgaria. Here down you can see it's BGL, BGL which is first is active CSC code, second one is a SIM one, the third one is SIM two, after that is region Europe and so on. Okay. Now I have a BGL CSC code with a general OXM multi CSC, which means I can't use a native call recorder because in Europe it's forbidden by the GDPR law. And now I will show you how you can use a native call recorder from Samsung by changing your CSC code. Alright, here we have something else important. Build number, you can see the numbers here after the dot is G991B which is my phone number after that we have XXU1AUB8 ok that's the build number of my firmware and here the important thing is that number which is after XXU1 this one is the important that means the bootloader of my phone is version 1 Guys, remember you can change your CSC code only with a firmware with the same bootloader version. If you have, for example, here number 2 and if you want to change a CSC code from firmware with number 1, it's impossible. You can't do this. Alright? Only the same bootloader version. For all the S21s, now the bootloader version is 1, so it's ok, you can't make a mistake, but for S20 series it's different. Now most of S20 series are using bootloader version 6 with the latest updates, but firmware that we need to put inside S20 series is from Indonesia and it is with bootloader 5, so at that moment you can't do this, you need to wait an update probably a week or so it will came up so after it is out you can just download that indonesia firmware and you can change your csc as i told you s21 series it's okay they are using only bootloader version 1 so you can't make a mistake all right guys from here we'll need to go on our computer and start from there i will leave my phone here for a minute all right we are on our computer Let's open our browser and open that website sammobile.com. From here guys, you need just to navigate to firmware, tap on it, after that just tap on browse firmware archive and enter your phone model. Mine is S21 and as I told you here you can find it it's G991B so we are entering here G991B ok and it's shown S21 G991B just tap on it and here you will find all the firmwares that you need 
but as I told you, we'll need a firmware from Indonesia. Let's just go up and here select country. Here it is, Indonesia. Tap on it. And you can see we have three firmwares available. And that number is one for all of them. It is using bootloader version one and this is the important number and we are okay with this. Just tap on the latest. Now guys, here is everything that you need to know. It's written, download the Samsung firmware for Galaxy S21 G991B with product code XID from Indonesia. And that's what we need, XID. Why we are using this Indonesia? Because guys, we need a firmware with a single CSC in it. And the only one which I find is that one from Indonesia. If you know or if you find other country using single CC code, just let me know down in the comments. Thank you. Alright guys, this is Indonesia and this is the only one working for now. When you are here, you can see you have two options, join to download and fast download. Fast download, if you are a premium member and you pay for your membership, you will download your firmware fast. And uh, if you are a free member like me, just tap join to download, enter your username and just download the firmware. Of course, it will be slow, but we have plenty of time. And here on the right side, you can find what's written. Extract the firmware file, you just download. You should get five files, AP, system and recovery, BL, which stands for bootloader, CP, modem and radio, and CSC, country, region, operator. That's what we need. And home CSC. These are the five files and here this part is important, add each file to its respective field in Odin version 3 point something, use CSC if you want to do a clean flush or home CSC if you want to keep your apps and data. That's the important here guys, we can use now just that home CSC and all of our data will be safe. Of course, my recommendation is to make a backup of everything. And here you will find with these blue letters download Odin 3.14.4. Just tap on it and download that Odin. And of course, download your firmware for Indonesia with CSC code XID. All right, guys, I already download them. Here they are. Here is the Odin. Here is the firmware, it's a zip file, when you download it, just extract it and when you open it, you will find these 5 files, AP, BL, CP, CSC and Home CSC. Alright guys, now let's open our Odin, here it is, just tap on it and open it, here is something written in Chinese, just confirm it. And Odin will be open. Tap here on the first field BL and be sure you are point to the same directory which you just download your firmware and select the file with the same letters. When you tap on BL, select BL. Alright, here is mine. Just tap open and wait for it. BL is ready. Now we need to select AP. Tap on it and select AP, open it, this will be long, just wait for it, alright, AP is ready, let's tap on CP and select CP, tap open, it's ready and here guys comes the important part, tap on CSC and if you want to keep all your data and stuff, select home CSC. If you want to do a clean flush, which is recommended, just select CSC. If you select CSC, everything will be deleted from your device, it will be factory reset. Keep in mind that it's always better to make a backup before you start. Alright, I will select home CSC because I want all my files to stay and just tap open. When you are ready here, we need to move to our phone. Now, on our phone, just hold your finger on power button and select power off. And 
power of your device. When the phone is off, just connect the USB cable to your computer and on your phone hold volume up and volume down buttons only then. And until you are holding them, just plug your USB cable in the device. Continue holding them and that screen will appear. When you see that screen, just select volume up button. All right. And we are now at download mode of our phone. We will leave it here and we can move again to our computer. On our computer guys, you can see here on the upper left corner, we have that 0.5 in blue background. That means our phone is connected and drivers are okay. So if you don't have that blue rectangle, just check your USB drivers. All right, when everything's okay, every file is up to every directory, just tap start. And wait, it will take a time. It now pass in a green, that means we are ready and we can disconnect our phone from the computer. And guys, you can see all my stuff is here. All right, let's go to settings and check our CSC. Scroll down, about phone, software information, service provider, and you can see it's now with changed CSC XID. That means we are using that Indonesia firmware and Indonesia CSC. And of course, that means we should have now a native call recorder. All right, let's tap here, tap on the three dots, settings, and what we have, record calls. That's what we want. Tap here, you have uh, auto record calls, recorded calls, and so on and so on. Probably you already know that. And that's what we need, guys. Now we can start recording our calls. Let's dial a number and check. Let's dial and you can see we have now a record button here, that's what we are waiting for. That's it guys, we changed our C and now we have a native call recorder. If you know or if you can find other country with single CSC which we can use to do all this, just don't be shy and leave it down in the comments. Thank you, thanks for watching, if this video helps you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos. Thank you and have a nice day.